Peru will face Paraguay in the third place in the Copa America. The odds are very close for the winner's market. Now, is that the best bet for the match, or does our guest have other options for us to consider? Well, Alex from Boom Betting Agency is here now. He's on the line, and he's going to preview the match for us today. Now, Paraguay come from a devastating 6-1 loss to Argentina, whilst Peru's loss to Chile was a closer 2-1. So what are you expecting in this match, Alex? I'm expecting a close match, uh, like all the last uh, five head-to-head -head matches between these two teams, where uh, Paraguay won three of them and Peru two of them. So we didn't uh, have a draw between uh, these two teams uh, in the last five ones. In this tournament, though, both teams uh, had decent matches, and uh, even though they made it to the semi-finals, they managed to win only two times each. It's true that uh, Paraguay disappointed in the last match against Argentina, but it's normal because Argentina is a great team and their favorite is to win the competition. And being forced to attack, Paraguay opened big time in the defense and they conceded six times. I'm sure that uh, both teams will want uh, the third place uh, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we'll see a draw after 90 minutes. I think that uh, the, six is, the sixth match between these two teams will be with luck and we'll see a draw. But I think that both of them will score. But if you, see, if you put me to choose uh, who will win the third place, doesn't matter after 90 minutes in extra time or penalties, I will say that more chance Paraguay has them and um, they have also better value on the winner's market. Okay, well, uh, winner's market has Peru as a slight favourites, 2.5 Paddy Power, uh, Paraguay 2.9, Bet365 and the draw 3.75 William Hill. Would you take the draw then to be drawn at 90 minutes, 3.75? Yeah, I will take the draw absolutely, and uh, but I have a better odd. Uh, you will uh, you will see it uh, when I will say my top tips. But I will take a draw with a little stake uh, because I think that uh, they will close each other these two teams. And uh, as I saw them in the in this tournament, uh, they are uh, more most of all defending uh, uh, than attacking. So I think that they will close each other, and uh, but I think that they will score both of them. This is why I'm going for that choice. Okay, yeah, well, the both teams to score market's really low, 1.55 Labrooks. Uh, the over as well has the shorter odds, 1.65. Do you agree that we'll see an over two and a half goals in the 90 minutes? No, I think that uh, we will see an under 2.5 goals uh, in the 90 minutes. I'm going with a bigger odd, 2.2. Uh, as you mentioned, I think that we will not see a lot of goals. If, uh, I think that also um, a bet now I'm thinking about it, uh, both teams to score and uh, under 2.5 goals, it's an interesting one. I think it's around uh, 3.5, uh, not like that. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, this choice with a small stake, it's uh, really good uh, for me. Mm -hmm. And I suppose you may as well also put a stake on the one-all score line as well there. If you think it's going to be a draw under two and a half goals, both teams to score just points to a 1-1 one -one score. Would you actually take the bet, put a bit of money on, on it being 1-1? One -one? Yeah, last uh, time that uh, I gave a correct score, 1-1, one -one, it uh, came uh, at an odd of 7-9, uh, or I think something like that. Uh, so this is my second time. Uh, that I'm giving, I'm thinking about a correct score of 1-1 and I hope that this time uh, will be a winner also. Uh -huh. So go on then, what are the top tips, Alex, for betting this match? My second tip is a combination with an odd of 5, uh, draw and under 2.5 goals in the match at an odd of 5. Mm -hmm. And uh, my top tip, uh, Paraguay to win with plus 0 0.25 Asian handicap at an odd of 1.82 with the bet 365. Okay, so those are the top tips there from Alex and from Boom Betting Agency. The link can be found in the description below this video. Alex, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the invitation, Ed.